Hello and welcome back to Green Hill Gaming, where I share my passion of video games with the whole wide world. Welcome back to another PS VR2 video where I am playing Gran Turismo 7 in VR. So sit back, relax, but as always, and more importantly, enjoy the video. So I'm going to go back into the cafe, get some, uh, some world circuits going. World Circuit Race is going. The menu books. What's on the menu? No. French Hot Hatches. Okay, so I have to acquire these three cars. I have one then already, which is good. And hopefully I will be able to... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, you can uh, spend credits or you can compete in the above World Circuits Race, Deep Forest Race, but don't mind if I do. Yes. Okay. Hello Luca, for this menu I'd like you to collect three modern French hot hatches. These are sporty little hatchbacks from DS Automobiles, Peugeot and Renault, France's most famous brands. If you can bring me all three, I might have a little reward waiting for you. Well, thank you. Alright, let's get going. I might as well go to my garage from here. Pick a car. Oh, actually, no, 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 because sometimes... Sometimes there's a limit to what kind of car you can bring to the race, so... See what kind of cars I can, I can use. Right, Europe. We are going to Switzerland, Deep Forest Raceway. Right, oh, so this is the best car I can bring with me, I think. Yep. Guess the job done. Oh, it's already selected. I think. <clears throat> Third place or higher? I think I can manage that. What do you think? I think I think I can manage that. Look at all the rest of the cars compared to mine. I love that. Out of my way! Can't get over just how clear the graphics are. They're absolutely crystal clear. Oh, this is so easy. There's an update to Gran Turismo 7 that brings uh, 120 hertz support to it, but I don't know if that's just for um, 
PS5 owners who have uh, TV to support 120 hertz are um, cinematic mode on PSVR 2, but I don't seem to be able to activate it anyway using PSVR 2, like in, in virtual reality, but I think you might be able to do it in uh, cinematic mode. I shall Google it later and see. But I'd say you can definitely do it in cinematic mode because you can turn on, you can turn on 120 hertz uh, support for uh, for um, cinematic cinematic mode when you are playing uh, non PSVR2 supported PS5 game. Okay, dokie. So I have acquired that car. Next, we are going to Italy for the Sard Sardigena Road Track. I didn't pronounce that correctly. Who cares? I changed my car because I feel like like I could literally choose any of these cars and I could still come first. So I'm gonna go with my Lamborghini. I think my other color Lamborghini. I mean a Lamborghini. It's so cool. There goes the clean race anyway. Adios. I remember as a kid, like, playing racing games in arcades. So when you actually go into the, like, the car, and you're, like, you're playing with the pedals and all that, like, I always think that was, like, the most realistic, like, experience at the time, like, you know, it's like I'm really driving. Now, obviously, with the pedals and steering wheel, you know, it does, but, nah, PSVR 2, Gran Turismo 7, doesn't get any more realistic than that. Seen the steering wheel move like in the hands and everything in real times.
There's a temperature of 19 degrees. Jesus, man, this is crazy. Raise you mirror and everything. All right, I got my Peugeot Sport. Back to the cafe, I know. I think Luca will be impressed. Collection French hot hatch is completed. Congratulations, you've got all three cars. This completes your French hot hatches collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you. Oh, nice. All right, let's tell me a tell me a story. I like stories. Oh, nice. Uh, France holds the distinction of having hosted the world's first motor race. That is one hell of a of a, like an achievement. To Jesus, like, must be really proud to be. You know, you'd be proud to be, you'd be proud to be French, like, with that, like, uh, way back in the 19th, the world's first, like, motor race, like, damn. French manufacturers have been involved in motorsports for a very long time. It looks like it. And over the years, they have tended to excel at producing sporty versions of small road cars. Renault's motorsport division, Renault Sport, have made great sports cars from its Megane to uh, Megane and Clio models. Uh, Peugeot's GTI has also been very popular, um, has also been a very popular hot hatch series, sorry, ever since it first appeared in the 1980s. The DS3, well, it sounds like something Nintendo would release, the DS3 um, racing is another fun little car uh, reminiscent of DS models that competed in the World Rally Championships. All three cars provide the uh, quintessential French hot hatch experience and are incredibly enjoyable to drive. That was an that's a strange position to put your cars, isn't it? The cars going down an escalator. Or uh, not an escalator. So it's gone. What's it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, more please. Give me more petty course. We're actually we're almost halfway there through the thing. Oh, nice! Uh, finish in the top three. I will. I will. All right, it's time to enter the uh, petty course, the France Championship. The championship will take place in Alasaki. On a, did I pronounce that correctly? Fuck no, I didn't. On a track that features plenty of um, inclines and declines. Your aim is to finish in the top three. Don't forget to come back here and let me know how you get on. I will. I'll do you proud, Luca. I'll do you proud. I, like the, I actually like these little videos, to be honest with you. I think it actually has one of the biggest uh, cinematic screens. So when you're viewing certain cutscenes in, in games and you're playing in VR, like the cinematic screen will show up. Like this is this is like proper big like. This feels like I'm sitting in front of a massive screen, like in a cinema, like, and I'm, I'm sitting, like, right up. Oh, look at the swanny. And the moo moos. This is so peaceful. Uh, I think it's like 30 menus in cafe, I think. I'm so glad to be finally playing this game, if you know what I mean. Getting stuck into the beef of the game, you know. Right, where are we going? What are we going on here? Uh, oh, I need a car from France. Oh fuck, this might be an issue. Um, these look like pretty shitty. Oh fuck. Um, oh, that's bad. These are the only cars I can bring with me. Well, like, one second. That's four seventy, four fifty-seven, four fifty-nine. Wait, I'm confused. It's look it's PP I'm looking for, isn't it? So why is it backwards then? I'm gonna go with this one. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. All right. See, if this gets me uh, gets me somewhere. It's, it's it's obviously a championship, so um, you know, it's gonna be challenging. Uh, what kind of cars am I contending with? Let's see. Ooh. Okay. This is gonna be challenging. Possibly. It mightn't be. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. slow I could just buy a car. Not really.
Oh yes. Oh, I could have done one more powerful French car, to be honest with you. Oh, am I? Look at this fucker. They came first anyway. Uh -huh. That was kind of a close one, now, to be honest. Fifteen thousand credits. Don't mind if I do. Right to the next race. Let's go. Oh, this is a much bigger track. I think. Oh my god. Race shot. Can I buy another car? Actually, no, one second now. Which is. Huh? I know. Okay. Um. I'll be grand, come on. Not the sunlight in this game, in VR. Oh, most drivers wouldn't. Most drivers wouldn't say that it was sunlight, but <laughs> I love it. I'm actually going to play multiplayer after this. I wanted to play multiplayer in the last video, but I didn't get enough time. I love looking at the map from there, the car. It's a Mario Kart in VR. Nintendo definitely need to do VR. Like VR is the next thing. Like, like Nintendo had Donkey Kong in the arcade. Okay. Then they brought gaming home but on home consoles. No, VR is the next thing. I think I honestly feel like virtual reality is the next thing. 
it goes beyond console gaming. It's the it's the it's the next way to experience gaming. And I think Nintendo of all companies, considering they were the ones who actually brought VR to the gaming industry, um, with the with the Virtual Boy, what a success that was. But uh, obviously they would have learned their mistakes since then. And with the success of PS, well, not so much success. I know it's still a niche market, but people are interested in VR. You know. And I think, oh, do you know what Nintendo could offer? I know they have the Nintendo Labo VR. But that was more or less kind of like, like an experiment from Nintendo. But um, I think what Nintendo could offer is like a, a cheap solution, but not, I don't mean cheap. Like, obviously, like, I mean, look at the Switch. It's obviously not as powerful as a PS5, but it can deliver fun experiences. And to some extent, it can it can deliver amazing looking games. Just not as good as PS5 or Xbox uh, Series X or uh, Xbox Series what the fuck it's called. But um, but you can still get a fun experience. And what I'm saying is, like, Nintendo could actually release like a VR headset or VR something anyway. Um, at a much lower price, a bit like the Nintendo Wii. This is exactly my point. It would be like the Nintendo Wii compared to the PS3. The PS3 was like 630 euro when it launched, and the Nintendo Wii was like was like 270 or something like that. So yeah. Oh my God, it's 22 or three. Time flies. But yeah, I would love Mario Kart in VR. That's basically what I'm getting at. Oh, I'm happy enough now with that. And I got the fastest lap. 15,000 credits. Boom. You are number one overall. 30,000 credits. Why, thank you. A nice. Please gift card. Oh, yes. A Mustang and everything. I always go off in the middle. Yes. Moise. 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 Looks like it actually looks like a pretty cool car actually. Actually might try that car out actually in multiplayer actually. Let me select that now first. Oh I better go to Luca first. You're like, oh congratulations, you've completed it. Nice work, you finished first in the uh, Petite Course de France. You should now be able to access missions. Visit missions to try your hand on various challenging and enjoyable race situations. In fact, missions will be the theme of the next menu I prepared for you. Till then, oh nice one. Pavilion has been made available. Nice one. I won't try them yet now, I won't try multiplayer. I've unlocked quite a few pavilions actually, haven't I? Missions is now available. But I'm gonna to go to my garage. And I'm gonna change my car. How do I do this? Car type manufacturer. Let's see if I could choose a car that you've just got. So I do have quite a few there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the VR showroom and have a look at this. Pick garage, Japanese style, GT Auto. Nice. Oh, lads, this is my car, lads. Look, nice, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm going through the car. Uh, oh fuck. Okay, I don't think, I don't think that, was, that wasn't intended. That wasn't intended. Nice shiny car as well. I'm going to go into it now. Nice. I want to just pull down the fucking... The... Uh, thing. Ah. Gear stick. 
<laughs> he said, no, I don't drive. Oh, fuck. That's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, oh, I'm gonna open my two-star roulette. Not oh, for fuck's sake. What's the lowest amount again? Why am I not surprised? Nobody can deny that this is rigged. Like, at least we're not paying money for it. Do you know what I mean? But it's still rigged. It's still rigged. I see people try to defend that online. But if they give you the best, shut the fuck up. It's rigged. Uh, okay, multiplayer. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna create a lobby. Last time I took a while to start this one, actually. You know, checking network environment. Hurry up, bro. I don't have much time. I really don't like. I really don't have much time, like. You know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, marry a captain the VR, man. That would be one hell of an experience. I am connected to the server, says. Alright, I know what it is already. Thank you very much. So I'm going to create a new room. I still don't have a fucking clue how to actually do this, like, what? Okay, so I'm going to just say, um. Racing fun. Oh, it literally is called racing fun. Now. It's crazy. crazy. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't really care what track really, to be honest. I can just do all tracks. Does it, does it matter? Do I have to actually pick a track? Like, does it actually matter? Like, um, try a monkey. Whatever. Um, Number of laps, three, yeah, time limit, okay. Um, I'm not gonna customize the weather. Um, twilight. Uh, some seriously advanced settings there. Too much, to be honest. I stopped, there's way too much there. Fuck! Bollocks, I'm a. Racing fun. Yeah, race for fun, whatever, just, yeah. Um, public and practice race. What? Practice last race, practice last qualify race, practice last endurance race, practice that. What's the practice about then though? I don't get that. Like, create room. So I don't know, I actually don't know how to start races. Like, um, the last time I couldn't even I couldn't even race my own race. Practice is currently taking place. Uh, you can go to the track and into the race. So you can host menu to start race. Then you can enter. Then you can go to what's the difference between go to track and enter? I don't get that. I don't really get that though. What? Oh, I've. Entered. It's my own lobby. Of course I entered. Doesn't make any sense. Actually, doesn't that make any sense? So I'm waiting now. So you can go to the track while you wait. I will imagine. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to go to the track. But can I not see? See, this is the fucking start race. But how do I know if someone has joined? I don't know if someone has joined, like.
Okay. I'm from Cork. Bye. Start race chat exit. No one has joined yet. I'm going to join someone else's, I think. Mm. Alright, three cars. Gentlemen drivers, fair play, please thanks, two laps. Maybe last day online, falling down edition. Happy. Can I just, oh Jesus Christ. Remote. Jesus Christ. Everyone practice, slash race. Right. Race for fun, there's only one in there. I'm gonna join his. Okay, I'm gonna enter. Oh, the race will begin shortly. Let's go. And this is an actual race, no? Like we're not just going to be randomly put on the track, like and just. So this is an actual race. Nice. That's why you actually. For oh my fucking god. Yeah, I'm going to get wiped out here. Look at the cat. He has a Ferrari, doesn't he? Still behind me? Are they still behind me? I think he's giving me a chance. Oh, <laughs> there he goes. Oh, no, there I go. There's 81 laps! Is he taking the piss? Eighty-one laps. This is my first time playing VR in multiplayer. A proper multi panel, like an actual race, like. Why the fuck did they pick 81 laps? Jesus, man. Well, I might just talk as I do this. Um, yeah, I think if Nintendo decided to uh, re enter the virtual reality market. I think they would do what they always do. They would add a Nintendo Touch, the Nintendo Magic, to uh, the device, whatever that device might be. Whether it's a full-on VR headset, something similar to holy shit. Well, that's that's me gone anyway. Something similar to um, Nintendo Labo VR, or something completely different. Because I would imagine there's, there's different ways to experience it experiencing uh, a piece of technology VR included he's, he's he just fucking overlapped me this fucker was taking the this fucker no, was, was having me on the whole time oh no wait a second I'm still in first place um, yeah so they might do something completely huh Completely different.
And I, I do definitely think though that um, it will be much cheaper than, uh, than than current VR headsets on the market, including PSVR 2. <laughs> this guy's on fire. And I do think that they would add the Nintendo Touch to it, whatever that might be. take forever. I don't even think I'll get time for this to be honest. Fuck. I was looking at the time. Where's he gone? I'm still in first place. Eighty one laps, like. Fuck, I wonder what time it was. Ah, oh, this is taking too long. Why did he have to do 81 laps, like? You're going backwards, buddy. Typical Canadian. <laughs> Sorry. What's it called? Dry sausage. I actually can't get over the, the detail. The graphics, man, is just absolutely insane. I think he's catching up, to be honest. He's going to catch up eventually. I think if he catches up, I'm going to just end the race because, um, yeah, it's taking way too long, and there's no way I'll be able to catch up with him again. I think he's getting used to the track. I, th I think it's the track. Yeah, I think it's the. He was a bit taken back by the track at first, I think, just the speed of his car. We're definitely going to do it for this PS VR 2 video of uh, Gran Turismo 7. It's going to be hard to title these videos because, you know, in Resident Evil Village, there's like different parts of the story that's happening. You can title the... You can title the video depending on what part of the game I'm on, but no, I'm just, I don't know. Because, like, most of them are just races, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I could do like 81 laps, I don't know. 
from that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.